गुड मॉर्निंग गर्ल्स होप एवरी वन इज़ वेल एंड सेफ एट होम गर्ल्स एज यू नो दैट इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैड स्टार्टेड विद चैप्टर नंबर वन फ्रॉम हिस्ट्री बुक एंड फ्रॉम जोग्राफी वी हैव गिवन यू द होमवर्क साइड बाई साइड यू विल डू योर होमवर्क एंड इन एस एस टी कॉपी यू विल मेक टू पार्ट्स वन फॉर हिस्ट्री एंड वन फॉर जोग्राफी इन जोग्राफी पार्ट यू विल कीप ऑन डूइंग योर होमवर्क एंड इन द हिस्ट्री पोर्शन स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली वी विल मूव अहेड विद द डिस्कशन एंड विद द नोट्स सो इन द लास्ट टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस दैट हाउ डिड द अरब ट्रेडर्स केम टू द सब कॉन्टिनेंट फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ ट्रेड देन पॉर्चुगीज फ्रेंच डच followed by the britishers they came to the subcontinent with the same purpose because it was a very good business and they were earning a lot from it but with the passage of time slowly and gradually the british they superseded the other nations and got the complete control and established the east india company with the royal permission of the queen at that time in 1600 at surat the mughal kings who were ruling over there like uh, aurangzeb jahangir shah jahan they provided them with the uh, trade facilities over there and uh, they uh, they took complete benefit from those opportunities and then uh, the after the war of independence 1857 that uh, uh, east india company lost its uh, existence and uh, then uh, the different policies were introduced by the britishers so first of all we will take the educational policy introduced by the british government now girls open your books on page number 4 educational policy of the british government now as such this topic has uh, no long question at the back but we will discuss it and we will write it in your copy and whatsoever the instructions will be given to you you will follow it now educational policy of the british government british government also announced the formal education system in the subcontinent now before starting it you must be clear about the difference between the formal education and informal education formal education is the type of education which a child acquire by going to some educational institution and informal education is the education which a child gets from the parents especially from the mother father and other family members in which that child is living and uh, the society in which he or she is living and the formal education it was basically introduced during the british government the british educationists provided ideological basis for subcontinent lord macleay and charles wood played very important role in this respect now one by one we would look into the uh, educational policies given by lord macleay and minor first of all we will look into the info column which tells us who was lord macleay lord macleay was a british historian and politician he was appointed as the head of educational committee of the government in the subcontinent so it must be clear to you that who was lord macleay was a british historian was a politician and was appointed as the head of educational committee of the government in subcontinent lord macleay made proposals to the government to fulfill the educational needs of the people of the subcontinent and suggested what he suggested four things the first one persian language should be replaced by english as official language at that very time the people of the the local language of the people at that very time was persian arabic and sanskrit so persian language should be replaced by english as an official language means at that time the official language was persian second one he emphasized to abolish arabic and sanskrit as languages and what did he emphasize that uh, the languages which are spoken uh, which were spoken in the subcontinent at that very time very time like arabic and sanskrit he emphasized to abolish them to leave these languages and just focus on the english or the as the as a local language as an official language the third one 
he also proposed not to spend a single penny on the eastern education now the eastern education was the education which the children they were acquiring from their homes and they were getting from the teachers who came to their homes and uh, give them the basic education about uh, uh, their religion about the areas in which they were living and the education which their forefathers they were getting before it so he believed that the purpose of education was to induct the people into civil services and promote the western education so what were the two main uh, crux of uh, those points the first one is to induct the people into civil services and secondly to promote the western education and science in the subcontinent number 4 he also emphasized on english language as the medium of instruction instead of local languages so as i told you the local languages were persian arabic and sanskrit so he emphasized to give the to teach the children to give the instructions only and only in english language as the medium of instruction instead of local language clear so what you have to do there will be a complete long question on it uh, write a note on the educational policy of the british government but you will do it in the way of short questions so depending upon the need of the question if you will be asked that who was lord macleay so you would write about it and then the uh, write a note on the lord macleay's minute so you will write these four points clear so you must be clear about the demand of the question either you are asked to write complete education policy then you will write lord macleay and charles wood but if you you would be asked that who was lord macleay then you will write this info column and if you you would be write uh, you would be asked to write lord macleay's minute then you will write these four points clear hope everything should be clear now girls uh, yesterday there was some uh, problem in my uh, phone so i uh, didn't send you the message uh, i have recorded but i didn't send it so again today i have uh, recorded this lord macleay's minute i will stop my lecture uh, till here and will add up the charles wood dispatch in my next uh, lesson thank you girls take care allah hafiz